Okay, yeah, keep it that's, there. That's where you notice it. Now watch. That's a race. <laughs> See, it's, it's almost like VTech. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Before today's video gets started, we will be dropping the next batch of merch on March. Merch in March. That's a tongue twister. We will be dropping the next round of merch on March 23rd at 12.30 Pacific Standard Time. So that is this Sunday. I don't know why I chose a Sunday. There's always people that miss out. So I was like, Sunday is like the day that most people will have off. So we're gonna drop it on Sunday at 12.30. Make sure you guys don't miss it. Make sure you follow the Committed Crew Instagram to stay up to date on all that kind of stuff. We'll be having the khaki dad hats, the black dad hats, the boosted on a budget sweaters, the final round of those. This is gonna be the last one. And there is all the way up to like triple XL sizes, I believe. So anybody that's like a bigger size, I hooked you guys up. Anyways, today we're gonna do something. It's a mod that I never thought I was gonna do. It's a mod that I never planned on doing. It's a mod I never really even believed in. The newest sponsors of the channel, JRP, they're Canada's largest performance uh, what do you call it? Distributor. They insisted I tried one of these things, and I was like, you know what? Like, never even thought of buying one. I've ne it's never, nothing about these things has ever crossed my mind or interested me, really. And I know a lot of people feel the same way, but they were like, you need to try this. It will change everything. Like, where they, they were like, you just, you have to try this. We have it here, and we're gonna try it today, and you guys are gonna experience it with me. It is called Sprint Booster. So, it's essentially what they do is, like, the new cars that have, like, electronic pedals. There's a, there's a signal that gets sent from, like, your pedal to the throttle to open and stuff like that and what it does is a cable car like the Civic has a cable throttle so when you push it down all the way that throttle instantly opens all the way whereas when you push it on the BRZ if you mat it it's designed to open at a certain speed like it's designed to just like ease itself open kind of thing so essentially it's taking your entire pedals like your the entire depth of your pedals worth of power and bringing it forward so you have all the power in your car in the first 10% of the pedal and set all the power of your car within 100%. Does that make sense? And I know right away that this may not sound like something you're interested in because there's a lot of people that are just like, no, I just want more power and they're just gonna leave, but stick around and see. I feel like you, so let's learn together. Anyway, so this is the tiny little box that came. This is called Sprint Booster. It is the V3 Ultimate Control. I don't know what Ultimate Control means, but I'm stoked. Install instructions. And, whoa, this is so small, look at this thing. What? Dude, this is, look at this thing compared to my finger. I was watching videos this morning and I, I guess I just didn't understand how small this thing was. Dude, this is the tiniest thing and then this is just the little pedal clip. <laughs> There's no way that's all that's in this box. But this little guy plugs into where your gas pedal is and then you plug the, the sprint booster control thingamajigger into this and it lets you control it. So let's start by getting this guy in there. I did the clip from the top of the gas pedal. You literally clip this into where the clip was and then you clip the same clip that you just took off right back into the top. This is just like a spacer for the clip. This wire is the original clip and this big black box is where it clipped into and then this is the sprint booster in between. And then this wire is the little button guy. This seems way too easy. I wanna start the car, drive around with this off and then we'll start playing with it as we're driving to kind of like compare or see if it does like anything, I guess. Um, what? Sprint booster broke my car? Hello? Okay, well, I guess I didn't plug something in properly because it had no throttle signal, it sounds like. It sounds like it couldn't find a throttle position, so I must have not clipped it all in fully. My bad. Oh, oops. Hopefully that doesn't mess with, if anybody owns a BRZ or an FRS, you guys know that like the throttle relearn on this car is the absolute worst. Like if your battery dies or you have to unplug it and you have to relearn your throttle, it is the absolute worst thing. So hopefully not having that plugged in didn't ruin my throttle position. There we go, that's better. The unfortunate thing, when I didn't plug in my throttle, it actually did need to relearn. So now when you press the gas, there's like no initial pedal at all. But the good news is, this little bastard should be able to fix that. Green is sport mode, and then red is race mode. And in like these modes, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine settings. One being the weakest, and nine being the most strong pedal increase. I'm just gonna try and like do some tests that I think you guys might be able to notice. And the engine light, for everybody that almost com always comments on the engine light, it's cause I have no cats now and it's gonna repeatedly come on until I get it tuned out of the car. So 
we're waiting for a reason not to get the car tuned yet, don't worry, we will take care of it. Let's turn it off, I'm not gonna stick it anywhere yet, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but for now we're gonna put it over there. Okay, so I'm coming to a red light now. I'm gonna put this thing into green, like sport on five, the middle of sport. Oh, someone just got in an accident. That guy just backed right into that accord. What an idiot. I'd show you guys, but the light's about to change. Okay, so it's in, on five and green. Whoa, over rev. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? This is so weird. It does feel faster. Okay, you obviously you have to get used to these kinds of things. It just, it accelerates faster, right? But like, it just makes the pedal so much more, it's not even, I wouldn't even say touchy. It just feels faster, dude. Like it actually feels faster. Okay, we'll stop here at these lights, put it in red five. I don't know if you guys can see that, but red is the, the race mode. So it should be a little more sensitive. I'm gonna test it before I go so I don't burn the hell out of my clutch. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's actually unreal. Holy shit, dude. This car feels so much faster. I don't know what I expected, but it was not this. I expected just like the, the pedal to feel like quicker to respond. This is nuts. Okay, so what happens if we put it in like nine? Okay, so this is the absolute max this thing will do. I'm gonna use it to merge on the highway just to feel how it feels. I can already tell you, putting a hair of, putting a hair of pressure on the pedal increases it a lot. Oh, the shifts are horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so it's super weird. I know I've probably said it's weird a lot of times, but like, this is me giving it no gas. It leans in so hard. It's like you're flooring it. Except now the thing that, so that the difference is now when I give it all the gas, like if I were to floor it right now and I go like this, there's no, I'm going like this on the ground and I got nothing. Whereas if you had this like, okay, this is off now. So, of course a car cut for me. So now this thing is off and if you do the same thing, do you see that? That's me playing at the end of the pedal. The pedal's going off the floor. Whereas when you have it in sport mode, there is no pedal down there. The pedal ends way higher. You just left school right now? Yeah. Okay, whenever you get here, I uh, I put that sprint booster thing in my car. I want I want you to like drive it and feel it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. This, yeah, I came this morning and I was like, I really don't feel like driving to the scrapyard to get Civic parts today, so let's just do this instead. Okay, something I want to do before I turn the car off, I want to try and get the pedal lock mode on. So, from what I understand, turn that thing off. Hold these. And what's cool is you like put in a pin, so I'll make my pin like 100. And then to unlock that, you have to put in the pin, so even if someone broke into your car and tried to use this, they'd have to guess your pin. So now, I guess now it should be locked. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. That's actually so cool. For me, it's kind of useless, but I'm sure there's people out there that would actually really, really like that feature. Also quickly, before Emerson gets here, I want to update you guys. We actually got the fuel pressure regulator for the 240 on the way, which is sick. We've been waiting for that for so long. We, we boosted this car in February and it has been sitting like all of March right here because we're waiting on the fuel pressure regulator, the stupid one last piece. Which means we'll probably get a dyno day in pretty soon. We're gonna throw the pressure regulator in when it gets here, then we can hit the dyno with the 240 and see what it does. And we got the clutch for the B18. So the B18, what we're waiting on, transmission's in this bag. Clutch got shipped out today as well. So we got a six puck clutch coming. I also ordered a turbo manifold yesterday. So we should have the 240 and the Civic like running right in and around the same time frame, which is sick. Right in time for summer, right in time to bring it to the shows and show you guys, I'm so hyped. Hey, homie. Oh, is your fart stank? Bro, get out of here. Chasing me around your fart, you nasty. Anyways, this thing came in the mail this morning and I was like, yes, we're doing that today. But the only thing I did when I plugged it in, I accidentally didn't clip it in properly the first time, so my pedal reset. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, but super 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 small, right? 
I think because this one does most of the work down at the pedal. Like the pedal commander one is like beefy, but it's a smaller plug. Whereas this plug is like this big. So start the car, I'll show you how to work it. Drive it around with it off for a minute, just so you get like a feel of, because it's different than it's normally is, right? Because the pedal, get a feel of it off. Oh my God, I don't like that. I know, it sucks. Okay, ready? I'll put you in sport mode off this stop sign. So come to a full stop. Do you have to come to a full stop? Do you uh, have to press anything? No. Okay, go. Just drive. Oh yeah. Yeah, you feel now it. Now right? it's like within the. Uh... It's like higher up on the pedal. <laughs> oh yeah. The way I explained it was like you take all this power and you put it right here at the tip. Yeah, you don't have to actually floor it. Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna put you in sport. You're not. That, that... was sport. No, that was sport. This is race. Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god. See, you can go like half throttle and it just... You go half throttle and it's full. <laughs> Holy. It's pretty cool, right? It's that's, really that's touchy. It's really touchy. Like, that's like not like... Like for city driving? No. Oh, it's easier to like... Oh my god, it's so hard to film because you're just flooring it. I'm not though. I know. It's just so touchy. Okay, so what is like race mode at like level six? Okay, ready to take your foot off the gas? Yeah. This is level nine. And this is race mode too? Yeah. So this is like the highest it'll go. This is the most sensitive you can make it. Almost sounds like I don't know how to drive. You're not supposed to turn this thing off while driving. It says so in the instructions. Because it's it'll like probably, yeah, it can right? make you rear end someone, right? But there's no one in front of you, so this is an easy way for you to feel it. Watch, give it the same amount of throttle, just cruise. Okay. That's sport. Oh, okay. Yeah, keep it that's, there. That's where you notice it. Now watch. That's a race. <laughs> See, it's, it's almost like V Tech. It is. <laughs> you should you should race someone and just be like, eject those Cedo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I could put that right here. That'd be so sick if we can make this little sprint booster fit in that dead spot. And then it could be my V Tech button. Holy jeez. I think we can conclude that as someone that never really thought these things would be cool or worth buying or anything. It, that, like, it probably helps too when you have like a turbo like. Yeah, that's what I was bar, saying. You know? It probably makes your turbo like way less because it's opening up way faster. Like I was trying to tell you guys at the beginning of the video, this was sent to me by JRP. Oh my wow, God, what that was, was that? Me. I don't know. Kid can't drive stick. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> What'd you just do? I have it on camera. Um. This, this part was sent to me by JRP because they were like, you need to try this. It's 100% non-sponsored video. They just wanted my feedback. But they did give me a discount code for you guys if you guys want to try one yourself. Yo, you gotta stop driving so aggressively. I'm trying to talk to the people. If you guys want to try one for yourself, you can use the discount code committed crew on the website. I'll leave it all down below in the description. I think it saves you 25 bucks off the purchase of one of these sprint boosters if you use the code committed crew. I'm used to the real feel Hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> but this kind of gives it to you, does it not? Yeah. Like, doesn't this make it feel more cable-y? Mm -hmm. That's not a word. You know what I'm saying. I make up words Walk every day. Blah, 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 blah. I make up words all the time. Emerson always harps on me for making up words. I thought you guys liked it. So I read on one of the forums that if you leave your intercooler like that, see how it's got like the open pipe? Mm -hmm. It increases airflow in that side and out this side, which gives you better side-to-side -side steering. So when you start turning right, more air flows through it and then it increases your handling. Seems legit, right? Yeah, I leave my hatch open so I can drive fast in reverse. Yeah, that works too, yeah. It lets the air into the car and the car just gets sucked into a stream. You guys also have wallpapers on the website that I've been giving you, but I've been trying to take, like you guys know, I've been trying to take better photos for Instagram and on the Committed Career Instagram and stuff too. And I have like this wallpaper that I'm using right now that I think is kind of cool. What do you guys think of like these kinds of wallpapers? Would you be more into me giving you stuff like this? It doesn't have to be that photo, but something like that. That's one of the ones I have for you guys right now. As opposed to just like the whole car, would you guys like like the close up crispy, you know what I mean? Anyways, that's gonna be pretty much all we have for you guys today. Today's video is a little shorter. We're trying to set up some stuff for the website so this merch can go live on Sunday. So that's all we have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it's nice where you guys are. I hope you guys are getting this like early spring weather. If not, I, I kind of feel bad for you. But that's it, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.